and welcome to episode 2 of Cool Geophysics with Blueback Reservoir. I'm your host, Bruce Chammers, and in this episode we're going to look at extended elastic impedance. So, extended elastic impedance is a seismic attribute used to predict fluid and lithology. It was first developed by Whitcomb et al. in 2002. Uh, it also forms part of a method for estimating net pay in thin reservoirs, as described by Connolly. This is a quite commonly used uh, method. Uh, extended elastic impedance essentially works by projecting intercept and gradient together at different angles, which highlights different features. It requires a few steps to generate, but its ability to predict fluids and lithology is well proven, so it's really worth the effort. Um, if there was one aspect of geophysics we would consider cool, EEI would be it, and it uh, works really well. Uh, at the bottom of the slide here you can see the references that their uh, plugin is uh, based on. So in this workflow I'm going to show the seismic reservoir characterization toolbox from Blueback. I'm going to use it to create my extended elastic impedance volume. This is done by first creating an intercept and gradient from angle stacks, color inverting the intercept and gradient, and then creating an extended elastic impedance volume. Finally, adjusting the volume to find the best match for fluid. So let's uh, jump into Petrel and see how that works. Um, I'm going to choose the Blueback Toolbox via the Home icon here in the top left. And the first step in the workflow is to choose Intercept and Gradient tool from Seismic Reservoir Characterization. In this uh, dialog I add in my different angle stacks here, so I have some nears, some mids and some fars, and I input a, a mid angle between the uh, lower and upper range of the angle stack. Press apply, and I get in here an intercept and a gradient volume. The next step is to color invert both of these, so I'm going to again choose my blue back home, and this time choose colored inversion operator design. In this dialog you have to create two average seismic spectrums, one from the well data and one from the seismic data. You can do this by averaging the spectrum from the well or just by inputting the numbers here in the line. So I'm going to choose to enter this manually. So for intercept I'm going to choose 12 and for gradient I'm going to choose minus 0.6 then we get a best fit line appear here. Secondly, I'm going to choose average from the seismic spectrum. So here I have my input seismic, this is my far angles, and I'm going to choose a thousand random traces from this cube. Press recalculate, then I get my seismic spectrum here. So if we look at this sort of default result here, this uh, yellow line is approximately halfway between the seismic and the well spectrum, which looks pretty good for our purposes, so I'm just going to press apply and create that. In the next step I'm going to then color invert the intercept and gradient by choosing my operator I've just created, choosing intercept, outputting AI for intercept and then gradient choosing GI. Okay that's done and finally I'm going to then choose extended elastic impedance and project these two together at a given angle. So here I have my color inverted intercept, my color inverted gradient, and then the angle at which I wish to project these two together. So let's press apply. Then if we have a look in the inventory here, just open a new window, you'll see I have a new virtual seismic which is extended elastic impedance at 10 degrees. If I display that, what you'll see is uh, if I bring this dialog back in here, as I adjust this uh, angle using the slider, the attribute will update inside Petrel. So the clue to finding the uh, best angle to highlight fluids is to see a sort of um, washing out effect of the various seismic attributes. So around 8 degrees you see this here on this uh, demo data set. If I just open an interpretation window, display a line, and show my horizons. So we can approximately see here below this uh, base reservoir a nice bright uh, feature here versus the rest of the uh, seismic attributes. 
and the theories suggest that this shows uh, fluids in the uh, in the seismic. Uh, that concludes this episode, so please uh, give this a try and let us know how you get on, and thanks for listening.